Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Trade proposal has Raiders add 25-year-old dual-threat QB. The Las Vegas Raiders are heading into the offseason with Aiden O'Connell and Gardner Minshew competing for the starting quarterback job. It remains to be seen who will win the starting job, but there's no denying the team has one of the weaker quarterback rooms in the NFL. In fact, Pro Football Focus recently said the Raiders had the weakest quarterback room in the league. There aren't a lot of options left with the draft in the past, but Gary Davenport of Bleacher Report believes that the team could reconsider Justin Fields. He pitched a trade that would have the Raiders send the Pittsburgh Steelers a 2025 third round and a 2025 sixth round for Fields and a 2025 sixth round pick. Aiden O'Connell can talk up the opportunity he's being given in Las Vegas, but the reality is that if his rookie season was any indication, he's a low-ceiling option under center, Davenport wrote in a May 21st column. Gardner Minshew too is a fun player to watch, but he's a career backup. If the Raiders are serious about competing in the AFC West this season, Fields would be a sizable upgrade at the game's most important position. Meanwhile, the Steelers can get substantially more back for the 25-year-old than they gave up for him. Unfortunately, this trade from Davenport makes close to zero sense whatsoever. Why would the Raiders give up a third-round pick to add Fields when the Steelers just got him for a conditional sixth-round pick? If the team felt strongly about the quarterback, they could have added him for a similar price Pittsburgh paid months ago. It's not like Fields has played any games yet and has proven that he's more valuable. Plus, offensive coordinator Luke Getze knows the quarterback well after calling plays for him the last two years with the Chicago Bears. If he felt that Fields was an upgrade over what the Raiders currently have at quarterback, he likely would have pushed the team to add him months ago. Getze was fired in large part due to Fields' lack of development in Chicago. The Raiders wouldn't have hired him as offensive coordinator if they thought that Getze was the problem in Chicago and not Fields. Perhaps he could make sense in Las Vegas if he hits free agency, but the team already had a chance to trade for him and didn't. Minshew and O'Connell have proven they can be capable starters, but there's just a lot of good quarterback talent in the NFL. The biggest issue with the team's quarterback room is that there really isn't much athletic upside. John Kosko of Pro Football Focus explained why the Raiders' quarterback room is the worst in the NFL. Unfortunately for the Raiders, they live in a division dominated by two of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, Kosko wrote in a May 13 column. While the division rival Denver Broncos were in contention for this spot, Las Vegas did very little to improve the room for the 2024 season. Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell will compete for the starting job, which doesn't spark much excitement for a fan base that has yet to see a legit contender in Vegas. Justin Fields shouts out Bears GM Ryan Poles over trade that sent QB to Steelers. Justin Fields has endured a tough offseason. He entered the offseason in no man's land, waiting for the Chicago Bears to make up their minds between himself and Caleb Williams. Chicago ended up waiting longer than most thought they would to trade Fields, sending him to the Pittsburgh Steelers for minimal draft capital. Fields spoke positively about the Bears and general manager Ryan Poles at Pittsburgh's organized team activities this week. Fields took the high road when discussing Chicago during his first media session with Pittsburgh. There were a lot of ups and downs, Fields said of his time with the Bears. But all in all, I appreciate every relationship that I built. All my teammates, they know that. Nothing but love for the city, the fans, and my old teammates and coaches. Fields also went on to specifically shout out Bears general manager Ryan Poles for keeping him informed throughout the process and ultimately getting him to Pittsburgh. Shout out to Poles, we communicated to him through my agent, and I told him where I wanted to be and this was a place I wanted to be, so he honored that and I appreciate him for that and glad he was able to put me in a spot where I wanted to be at, Fields said. Fields also shared some of this thoughts entering the offseason. He said it wasn't really a shock to learn the Bears were trading him. He got the sense they were planning on drafting a quarterback beforehand. 
The Bears selected Caleb Williams with the number one pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, solidifying him as the team's starting quarterback. That eventuality left no place for Fields in Chicago. It is good to hear that the Bears did right by Justin Fields and sent him off to a situation where there's mutual interest. But can Justin Fields win the starting job in Pittsburgh right away? He'll have Russell Wilson to deal with first. Wilson is an experienced veteran in the NFL who has done a lot of winning in the league. His career has certainly started to decline over the past two questions, but he is still steep competition for Fields. Justin Fields is excited about competing with Russell Wilson. According to reported Mike DeFabwa, Fields said he's definitely competing. Russ knows that. We're competing against each other every day. Fields also spoke on his mindset heading into off-season programs. He does not have the mindset of riding the pine all season. It sounds like he will be making a strong push each and every week to win the starting job. James Palmer noted on social media that Fields does have a realistic shot at winning the job. Palmer speculated that we could see both Fields and Wilson play QB for the Steelers at some point this season. If this were to happen, it would likely be because Wilson wins the camp battle with Fields and struggles during the regular season. Injury could also force Fields into action. Fields sounds ready for the challenge. We can't wait to see how he performs throughout the 2024 NFL season. Terrible Tell Tales, Patrick Peterson wants to return to Steelers. The Steelers trusted Peterson to play all over the field a year ago. For the first time in his career, Peterson played as safety and slot cornerback. They could use someone with Peterson's veteran football smarts while adding familiarity. And on Tuesday, Peterson stated that he hoped a return to the Steelers would occur. We've still got time left on the table, Peterson said on The Jim Rohn Show. Hopefully, I can get something done with the Steelers. 2024 schedule is set, leaving them with early trips to Atlanta and Denver. But already, they're preparing for a Broncos team without one of their key defensive pieces. Linebacker Drew Sanders, a second-year player looking to compete for the starting job, suffered a torn Achilles prior to OTAs and minicamp, according to Nine News Mike Kliss. While he isn't ruling himself out for the season, the expectation is that he will not be available until after the Broncos and Steelers square off in Week 2. The Arthur Smith Revenge Bowl should be an entertaining contest, and the oddsmakers seem to agree— the Falcons opened as just 2.5-point home favorites against the Steelers per DraftKings Sportsbook. At first glance, that number might seem a little low, until you realize that Atlanta hasn't beaten Pittsburgh since 2006 and has an abysmal 15-2-1 all-time record against the Steelers. So it's understandable that the oddsmakers are hesitant to give the Falcons too much credit, despite Atlanta probably having the superior team on paper. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Patrick Peterson? Leave your opinion in the comments.